Right, now, before we finish at breakfast today, we're going to be talking about films and um, an Eastbourne production company who, well, want your help, really. They, they, they've launched one of these crowdfunding campaigns for their new film, which they're going to shoot in Eastbourne. Have a listen to this. You're going somewhere, brother. Thanks. Well, that sounds a bit gruesome, doesn't it? 13 Graves is a horror film uh, which has been uh, put together by John Langridge, who uh, made his first feature debut in 2011, uh, which was a comic thriller called Four. And he's planning to shoot this, this one in just two weeks. And he's already got a distribution deal and 80% of the cast and the crew are local. And among them is uh, Eastbourne actor Greg Draven. So we've got Greg in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. And How we are also you? have John, uh, the director and the man behind it, in, also alongside him. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You two guys are quite interesting because you don't. You look. You look like the, uh, the sort of the complete opposite of each other. Uh, you, you, I was He's always handsome, and I'm. You were sort of like a very uh, sort of well trimmed beard sort of person uh, as as the director and as the actor. You got a sort of a. You look like the the the, the person who's got an owl sort of breeding in your beard. That's it's because I do have an owl. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is this is like doing it totally the wrong way around, isn't it? So you you got basically everything except the money. Is that right? Well, yeah, that's what we've uh, to normally the way around is that you is the, you write the script and then you go around and look for locations and, and cast and crew. But we the way to do it more cost effectively, especially if you're independent, um, is to is to use what you have. So we, were, Greg and I got together um, and we put together the film basically on, we have wood, we have this cast, we have that that cast, we have this crew, we have that crew, and we just put it together and um, and then you then we wrote the script. It was kind of, it sort of worked that way around. So <laughs> right. if you do that, you don't write something you haven't got. So. I see. So, it, so it's, it's all about, in your head is, I want to be cost effective here, or at least I want to make it affordable. Exactly. So therefore, exactly. In, interstellar um, sort of stuff. Yeah. It's, it's sort of, let's, it's, let's not do that one. Let's not do that one. Let's, let's do something which, is, ba which is, cool. is based in East, Eastbourne. And, yeah. and I suppose what's, what's interesting about Eastbourne, of course, is that, I mean, there have been uh, some films shot there, but it is, yeah. it's, it's a great location, isn't it? You know? Absolutely. And there's a wealth of talent in Eastbourne. So not only is it a great location, Location, but that's films coming in, shooting in Eastbourne. We're an Eastbourne company that wants to make films and start a film industry in Eastbourne using Eastbourne cast, Eastbourne crew. Yeah, you've got to pull people in from other places. Um, but as John said, the, the cost-effective way is right to your strengths, which is the location, the people you've got, the crew you've got. Um, and, and, and we want to... We want to involve the Eastbourne community. Mm. The funding's, you know, the funding's doing well. We've got some private investment, but we want to involve the community and we want our crowd funder to push it across the line where we can just go, we've now got no worries, we can focus fully on the film. I love the idea that, you know, if the money came locally as well and then all the all the people are, are, are local and it's shot there, you know, there's a wonderful synergy about all that. I rather like that, actually. Well, not only that, but there's the Crossing the Screen Film Festival. They want exactly. to make Eastbourne kind of the new can. And, and so we've suggested... Why don't we make Eastbourne the new Hollywood? Exactly. Why not? Why, why not? There's the talent in there, and you know the the script is brilliant. And I just want to say the cool thing is, evolutionary films have been awesome. And on the strength of the script alone that John wrote, they said, "Yeah, we'll distribute your movie." Well, that's incredible, isn't it? So um, this is a bit. Just sketch out the plot for us. I mean, it's because it's. A, can well, you, with, yeah, can without you, giving too without, much away. Oh, just, just give us the, the synopsis as you would see it, you know, I don't know, on the poster or something like that. OK, two seasoned contract killer killers disposing of their latest victim in a mob graveyard they've used for years, hence 13 graves, are suddenly stalked through the forest by a terrifying supernatural force, played by Greg. You're the force. I am the terrifying you supernatural force. You look a bit force. like the supernatural force, actually. I wouldn't want to want to come and come and sort of meet you in the dark alley. That's so okay. So so, so it's a horror. Is what will this get an, 18, is, an eighteen? Will it be? We're aiming for an eighteen. Right. Yeah. Okay. There's no it's, point making something like that if you're only going to go halfway. Is yeah. It? No. Exactly. So so uh, and and the the whole concept of doing a film in you know in a couple of weeks. Yeah. That's a nightmare, isn't it? I thought they normally took about six months. Well, that's the. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, six months for for all, everything, but for the, for the actual, as far as the actual shoot goes, um, 
if you only have one location because it's the moving locations around and moving right. the entire unit left right center got to find th ridiculous things like finding parking for the cr for the um uh, for all the vehicles and where are we going to put this where are we going to put that that eats into your filming day so if you if you're shooting an entire um shoot um in one location and it's private land um then you're just yeah. you turn up put the camera over there and then you're over in that direction and then you're over in that direction and you're, you're, you've got that base. You've got to be hellishly disciplined. What if it the, rains for two weeks? Well, then it rains. Then it's, it's a wet build, film. Yeah, yeah, is that's it, it, they call that production value. Yeah. We don't have to hire a crane and a sprinkler. Yeah, that's <laughs> now look, if you, if you want to get involved with this, I'm going to point you to the, uh, the website if that's okay. Is that the best way to do that? Yeah, yeah, and our Indiegogo page. Come in, pledge, put your involvement in and get involved with an awesome, awesome film. Alright, 13gravesthemovie.com is the, uh, the, the, the big website yeah though, but but go and check out and maybe put a few pennies their way and that'd be great and, and then you can be a movie mo you can imagine your C cecil b demille help us make movies we'll we we'll look forward to seeing what it's like thanks very much guys thank you thank Neil. you thanks. Anyway, that's it for breakfast today danny pike's with you after the news at nine see you tomorrow